The industry keeps pushing the envelope on what it is possible to do with generative AI tools. Products like ChatGPT and Claude let you talk to your documents, do complex data analyses, and even generate images. But for many journalists, this isn't helpful because you want to protect your data and your IP. And online tools like Claude and ChatGPT leak your data. So what can you do? I'll show you how to use open source tools to run and load generative AI models on your own laptop. You'll learn how to make your data machine readable. You can load your documents, images, and sound into your very own generative AI models to make complex new tasks available. And as we do this, I'll show you how to use three tools along the way. The first is JupyterLab, a tool for loading data into generative AI models that you download from repositories like Hugging Face. The second is Langchain, a framework for orchestrating data and models together. And third is Hugging Face, for sharing your Langchain tools with other people, and even use other people's tools to get a better sense of what is possible. Along the way, we'll talk about potential pitfalls, common problems, and other obstacles people face when trying to make their own generative AI models. The course begins on November 20th and continues on through December 17th. It's Generative AI for Journalists, Discovering What Data Can Do. Presented by the Knight Center for Journalism in the Americas, together with Hacks Hackers. Sign up now at journalismcourses.org.